Simba, whenever you're ready. Okay. What I'll add to that is uh, that I'm also feeling sad uh, because, uh, you know, most of our friends are not here with us today. Uh, some are feeling sick, some are taking care of the sick, and uh, it's said that we are not um, completing this last session as a whole like we started. It is so good to walk this journey for these six, six weeks. Um, I have mixed feelings that um, from today uh, we will not be meeting in this group and at the same time I'm happy because uh, you have formed a new reality or you have expanded my life in one way or the other. And it feels beautiful. It, uh, I've welcomed you and you have welcomed me in your lives, making life even more joyful. And I am in. What I'd like to add to that is I'm so grateful for this opportunity, not only to learn from each other, but also to connect to everyone here and to learn from each other, not only the content and the new things that we've learned. Um, I'm now, that's me. What I'd add to that is, isn't the world a crazy place? And isn't it wonderful to have safe spaces to come and connect with like-minded souls and have fun and take a break from the pain <laughs> that so many are living with and are sharing with, uh, with us on a daily basis um, and how heartbreaking that can be. So these spaces are important. Mm -hmm. So let's keep it alive as best we can. Amen. What I would like to add is that I believe in learning something new every day. And this has been not one thing learning, one learning one thing every day is learning lots of new things in one one and a half hour session and being feeling so uh, blessed by the abundance of, of, of the fun that we've had and the and the comfort I've got from this because I'm like, this is cool, this can work. And not but for me, it's about just embracing new all the time and and keep pushing those boundaries like we do with our with our coaches. And, and, and this is fun to do with them as well because you can sometimes just go there and maybe they're hitting a wall and doing some improv just to break that, to go into the child, the inner child. And that's so much fun to go and it can just unleash and open doors. And I'm in, I'm all in. Thank you. Um, I, I feel very grateful about this time, this um, space we create together, thanks to Michelle. Um, I, I love the humanity that we have here uh, and also how I can push my boundaries in feel, and feeling very safe at the same time. And I would love to, to spread this, this kind of um, experiences to all kind of people like we here, like we are here. Thank you so much. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, just, 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 to, just that connection is, 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 I think the disconnection, Brenton, you touched me with your words. It's a traumatic, traumatic time. Someone referred to it last night as uh, apocalyptic in some ways. And just to have a safe space to connect with awesome people. Um, for some reason, Zainab, when I look at you, I just feel an incredible sense of peace. You have a beautiful aura of peace about you. And uh, Simba, you're in the light, my friend. You become enlightened. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you all. And I'm grateful. And today, I'm in. What I would like to add is, as all of you know, when I... Um, when I pull a cohort together, I actually don't ask for personal interviews to make sure you're the right people. I, I work with an absolute sense of trust. 
If you're attracted to this and me and this group, then you are the right people in the group. And I'm astounded every group, the caliber of people who come together blows me away. And I have experienced equally that in this group. Just some people I, I do not know. Zainab and I met once before on Zoom, but very little knowledge, but this absolute trust that if this group of people is saying yes, this is going to be yeah. a great group of people. <laughs> and we were. So I thank you and I'm in. 